Mendoza and the Milady. May I present the Duke of Crackenshire and the adequately sized show. Thank you, thank you. It's not all that often we make it across the pond, but anytime we take the show on the road, I always love stopping by the old country and sampling the cuisine. That is fine British culinary arts from the finest blood pudding to jellied eels or everyone's real favorite, spotted dick. There is always an exciting assortment of options awaiting you. And speaking of, we have an exciting new guest for you today. So, my lords and my ladies, join me in welcoming the Tech Tree Tier 8 Royal Navy Heavy Cruiser. Give it up for Drake. Yes, the Drake. Whether you hate the Drake or love the Drake, one thing I think we can all agree on is that it is nice to have some more unique heavy cruisers. And before we get into what really makes Drake unique, let me get the old commander and modules up on the big screen. And it is the boss himself, Bruce Frazier with Einstein and Mikawa. And I know it has been a while since we've seen Bruce on a ship. I mean, the last time that happened, you used to poke me on that Facebook or you used to lag my stuff on Flickr. But with how fragile the British cruisers tend to be, well, it was hard to recommend him on most of them. But now... Now we have this brand new 234 millimeter powerhouse, and unlike the Cheshire, this one is a little less explodey. Don't get me wrong, it still has a 25 millimeter bow and stern, which pretty much means if you live and die by bow tanking, you are mostly going to be dying. But looks can be deceiving, because while it has some belt armor that you can use for bouncing mini shells, what you can't see is what lies beneath this blackened exterior. And that is a black hole in the armor where shells go to die. Yes, Drake has some very trolly spaced armor, and with a little practice, you can have battleship commanders writing on Discord that something needs to be done with all the overpins because they don't know our little secret. Now, unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be seeing much of that in this replay because look at how many destroyers are on the red team. But what you will see is my fantastic heals after I catch multiple citadels. One of those is coming up pretty soon because I'm getting a little bit greedy here. We saw that Yamato crossing over. And let's see what these 234 millimeters can do with their ridiculous, what is it, like... 28, 30% chance of starting fires and 58 millimeters of pin. That just means shoot anywhere that is pretty much not a turret armor or I guess the belt on just about anything and you will be getting some decent damage like we did right there. Now let me ask you a question. Has the Yamato fired at us? We're going to look over my shoulder and the reason I'm kiting away is because it's easier to dodge when you're kiting out. But you tell me when you see the shells on the skyline, right? Where are they? Right. Are there? Did they shoot? Oh, there they are. Boy, I'm really starting to dislike the Drake. Hate the Drake. All right, well, that's not really the fault of the ship. That is uh, my own greediness, along with the fact that shells do not stand out on this hazy sky. Another reason to hate this map. So while I can, and will, blame taking that hit because of the contrast of shells to the sky on this map, at least you get to see our super mega heal, which restores just a pinch under 20,000 HP. Another feature of this ship you won't get to see is its AP, unfortunately, due to the composition of teams and how this match plays out. But, I did have one of our interns whip up this handy dandy chart to show you the Drake's AP penetration compared to the Tech Tree Tier 8 Heavy Cruisers currently in the game at the same tier. And there it is at the top, but don't get too excited. Let's reveal Riga penetration. Hey, where is that Tier 8 Riga? Nonetheless, you can see that it is even better than the Buffalo. Uh, where is our montage of AP dev striking cruisers? 
Our intern accidentally deleted it. Oh, well, you'll just have to trust me. The Drake's AP smacking cruisers and battleships alike is definitely doable. But while the AP is quite good, the bread and butter of the ship is the one quarter pen HE that has been sorely lacking on all the previous British heavy cruisers. Of course, Cheshire notwithstanding. I told you the Drake was bad. I hate the Drake. You know, I have to admit, I am not too pleased with our destroyer positioning in this match right now. We've got two of them on their cap for some reason, and then we've got a Shima on our base back there instead of spotting for me, which is how I managed to get clapped right there. But we are seeing the effects of the HE on this ship do its work. We got another double fire on that Yamato, and I believe right about here... You don't like the Drake. I hate the Drake. I love the Drake. How could you not like the Hold Drake? Hold on, Jerry. There is one thing you may not like about the Drake, and that is its lack of radar, and that is unfortunate. But contrary to what the chat GPT written scripts that Hipper is churning out these days, not every ship needs radar, sonar, torpedoes, armor, speed, and agility to be a good sheep. And contrary to what most of the player base wants, I think ships having weaknesses is a good thing. It mixes up the gameplay. But at the end of the day, I still have to be the destroyer hunter, don't I? It's always regardless of the ship that I'm in. It always seems like it's going to be me who is sinking them. That is a little foreshadowing, playboys and playgirls. So while we get into that portion of today's program, let me tell you that I think this is an easy buy recommendation. It's unique to all the ships before it in the line, and it offers some different gameplay at the tier. Yes, it is honestly more of a farmer than anything else, and I will generally shoot in the kiting position at one quarter speed, as it is easier to wiggle the rear than it is to wiggle your bow. And then when I need to, I will drop spot to under 10 kilometers, reposition, and do it again. But that is not an option in this match, as we can see, wiggling right there. So the red team has at least one destroyer on our base, and that main is wisely, as they should, shooting at me so i need to approach our base i need to get rid of the main i need some support because i don't really have that much help and i need to be cognizant that there are probably <laughs> torpedoes coming at me right now and there are more shells coming at me so we will wiggle and now we will have to dodge these torps but that gives me a good idea let's see that is one two three four five that is probably a shimikaze and they are probably, oh yep, there are torps on the right of the screen. Probably, uh, okay, hold on a second. There is another destroyer over to the left. Uh, okay, I am not sure what that is, but looking at those slow torps could be an American destroyer, especially considering that they're shooting me. But what I do know right now is that there is a destroyer on the base and there is one in front of me. The one behind me <laughs> is keeping me spotted for the one in the smoke, so these guys are actually doing a pretty good job of some teamwork. But I'm trying to close the distance with this uh, smoke cloud as fast as possible while I still have my hydro. And uh, yes, that should do... Okay, let's just get the rear turret of justice around right here, and that should do it and... Hmm. Okay, let's wait out this long reload, and this should do it right. Okay, this is an impossible ship to shoot. They have stopped shooting right now, so it's imperative that I get them. And that time, look at that. <laughs> look at that shell grouping. Three on top of each other. Okay, so now what do we say? Who's the Drake? The Drake is good. Well, that's two ships sunk, and we... <laughs> Got a uh, mostly, well, about a half health Palmer coming around right here. And I have a pretty good notion that the remaining destroyer on our base is towards my bow. That is why I'm turning that way. And uh, also, it grants me the benefit of being able to remain angled to this Palmer as well. And uh, we get a burning fire on there. And there are more torpedoes. And look at that. This destroyer which I believe is this Shimakaze, is uh, shooting at me while the Pomeran keeps me spotted. So, you know what? 
these guys are playing it all correct, I think. I mean, right there we get lucky with the Pomeran going down. I love the Drake. I'm looking forward to meeting the Drake hat. And now we can turn our focus to this destroyer in here. Still blind fire, by the way. 894 HP. We are... Uh, getting a little low on health and need to be aware that really anything could sink us right now. I'm asking for help. It's not often that you see that, but I'm like, I need help. Uh, Kronstadt's saying okay, but they are pretty far away. So even though we are down on our Hydra, we do have a plane up just in case that Shimakaze should leave their smoke, but... We know that they're in their smoke because the cap is still contested. So I'm positioning myself over to a strange position. I'm actually trying to get around to the back side of their smoke to an area where they won't recognize me, but there they are. And got to love the Drake. Oh yeah, that is good. Let's see that again. That's the Taco Bell play of the game. Mmm, dev striking a destroyer with cruiser guns. Man, I gotta say, that feels pretty good. But what we also got to do there was jump forward in time rather than just waiting around. So, having skipped forward a little bit, there is just a Colbert and Shima remaining on the red team. Who knows where the Colbert is? I am spotted. And I've been able to kind of narrow down where the Shimakaze is just because where I've been spotted and where the... Uh, crunched at with there were some torp shot at it so i had a pretty good idea <laughs> cheers to the shimikaze going for it right they are going to try and get the shots on me i only have 894 health i mean oh very friendly shot right there they should be one shot for me i have 131,000 damage so let's see i mean this one should do it right there right we just need three shells to hit we get two shells to hit <laughs> So, okay, well, we drop spot. We know the Shima's in the smoke. As soon as they pop out, they will be out of the smoke. But which direction will they go? They are out of the smoke. I have three health. We know that they're probably going to try and shoot at me, right? They kind of have to. I mean, they're, they're not going to win the game. Well, well, maybe they could, I guess. I mean, no, they won't because the point flip won't be enough. But it's just, here. here's a cruiser just sitting here all week. Come on. Oh, God, how long do we have to wait? If this is going to be too long, let's just see what's on the radio right now. Let's see. This. Well, how does this sound? Trap, trap, money, penny. Got me in my fence. Gotta be real with it. Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always, KB. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always. Look, the new me is really still the real me. I swear you gotta feel me before they try and kill me. They gotta make some choices. They run it out of options. Cause I've been going off and they don't know when it's stopping. And when you get the I see that you've been learning. And when I take you shopping, you spend it like you earned it. And when you popped off on your ex, he deserved it. I thought you were the one from the jump that confirmed it.